That is American Sign Language for healthy. Healthy. Hello. I, uh, I'd like to brag that I think I've lost five pounds. Uh, technically, the scales are the same as they were two months ago. But with all this hair, I'm pretty sure it's about five pounds of hair, wouldn't you say? Look at that. Look at that. Yeah? Oh, I can almost do a man bun on the top of my head. The next video. Man bun in the next video. Let's talk instead today about my hair, about tips to help boost your immune system before school starts. Nice. As we head towards September, we are uh, all a little bit nervous about what's going to happen, how things are going to go, and blah, 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 blah. If you have kids like us, you're probably sick of hearing about it. And get nervous and really curious as to what everyone else is doing at the same time. Every conversation. What are you doing with your kids in the fall? And uh, it seems like everybody has a different, slightly different answer. We're all a myriad of different choices and it's all beautiful and all good. Yes. All right. So what are some tips, though, to help make you healthy as we go back to school and are healthy? Um, well, lowering stress levels. So watching my videos and having a good laugh or just judging me uh, and laughing, uh, that can help lower your stress levels. We talked a little bit about that in the last video. I'll have a joke for you at the end of the video. So if you're already bored, just hang in there and the joke might be worth it. I am a dad though, so maybe not, but no promises. You'll have to wait till the end. All right, so lowering your stress levels. Now, there's lots of ways to do that. We offer online counseling at Yellow Gazebo, of course, uh, which I think personally is the best way. I did um, in my early 20s. I don't know if I've ever talked about this in a video, but in my early 20s, I did some work with a social worker, and it changed my life. Now, obviously, if you're stressed, you don't need your life changed. Just, just, just maybe need a, a few tools in the old tool belt for keeping stress levels low, right? But honestly, just talking to someone who is completely um, objective and acts as a sounding board is a phenomenal, powerful thing. It, uh, yeah, don't don't put yourself down if you feel you you need someone like that. I think we all, if we all did have online counseling, uh, we would be a, a much better society for sure. Anyway, other ways to de-stress yourself, a yellow gazebo, massage therapy, even chiropractic, physio, all these things uh, can really help. Acupuncture, naturopathic medicine, uh, osteopathy, all these things can help you lower your stress levels. Even if you're not really in pain, get a treatment and you'll see, wow, it feels really good. So use your benefits if you have them. Uh, and if you're a teacher, yours are running out in a couple weeks. Uh, eat more vegetables. Well, duh. You want to be healthy. You got to eat vegetables um yeah but how do you get your kids to eat vegetables tricky tricky well you can get yourself to eat a little more vegetables if you uh make yourself shakes a nice tasty protein shake throw a bunch like i'm talking a bunch no stems but the leaves of parsley really really healthy for you parsley and you barely taste it if it's in a shake uh, now for your kids you can mix um you can make different sauces so you can puree up some parsley or spinach or whatever and throw it in a tomato sauce uh, if they don't. Uh, and then tell them that the color is something new, whatever. They're not going to know. They're not going to know. They're not going to know. And if they know, well, then try it again. Do it a different way. Lots of recipes online. Even look up ways to trick your kids into eating more vegetables. There's tons of stuff out there. Tons. Uh, get more sleep. Yes. And you wanted more sleep. Uh, I'm, I know if you're a really busy person like me, you probably don't want, don't, yeah, getting more sleep sounds good, but you get the kids into bed. You just want a couple hours to relax by yourself. But if you want to boost your immune system, just think 15 minutes, just that tiny bit, 15 minutes as we head into the cold and flu and scary September 2020 season. 15 minutes, even just giving yourself going to bed 15 minutes sooner will also trick your mind into thinking you're doing something healthy. So you get, get this snowball effect of healthful things that you're doing for yourself. Tiny little bit, tiny little changes here and there can add up to something huge and make you healthy. Healthy. 
Uh, keep your air clean is another one. Oh, I skipped one, but I'll go back. So keeping your air clean. So you can get an air purifier for, I think, 70, 80 bucks, uh, which isn't cheap, I know, uh, but it's it's an air purifier that can last you years. And they come with, with uh, two filters, most of them. One's a HEPA filter and the other is like some kind of charcoal or whatever. And it's usually that second filter that they want you to replace, honestly. Just the HEPA filter in these machines will do something, will help purify your air. So if you're worried about the quality of your air, get an air purifier. It acts nicely as a white noise machine, a lot of them too. Put it by your bed while you sleep at night. It's going to increase your air quality quite a bit, actually. It takes the dust uh, out of the air that you might otherwise be breathing in. If you breathe in dust, it's not going to hurt you, but then your body has to process that dust right and then it's working harder so save your body some work by using an air purifier and again they don't have to be expensive machines um exercise proportionately this is very key we're always told exercise three times a week for 30 45 minutes at a time whatever there's different statistics and different advice out there proportionately is what i always tell people if you're already exercising and your energy levels are good that's probably enough. You could maybe exercise a little bit more, but if you're already doing an exercise routine, exercising more is not going to help your immune system, but you need to gauge if what you're doing in your exercise routine currently is doing too much. Because if, if actually you you exercise and you're exhausted after, you're actually uh, taxing your immune system. So yes, maybe you're burning off a lot of calories, but I would suggest uh, if that's a real concern for you, focus on the diet a little bit more and try to exercise potentially a little bit less because if you're if you're exercising a lot uh, and you're exhausted after your immune system is taxed if you're not exercising at all um, then just do a little bit more don't feel you have to jump onto a whole new routine want to start getting into an exercise routine now to help boost your immune system make it regular go for a walk every day um, but it's got to be something that's a little bit more than what you're doing, but not a ton more because you want to protect your immune system while strengthening it. Healthy. All right. Uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, email me at richard at yellowgazeboclinic.com. Uh, please stop emailing me asking me to shave my head. I'm not going to do it. Uh, no one's done that. All right. So joke for you. So a rabbit a priest and an imam walk into a blood bank. The rabbit goes up to the counter at the blood bank and says, hi, I think I'm a typo. Typo? All right, well, if you have to explain it, it's not that funny. Thank you. Have a great day. Yellowgazeboclinic.com. Love you all. <laughs>